Welcome to the second video of this tutorial series. So in this in this video we will discuss the prerequisites that uh, everyone who is willing to follow along with me needs to install uh, in their machines. So the very first thing you need is the Node.js package. Okay, so make sure you install the LTS version. That's the long term support version and i believe I'm, I'm i'm using that as using the same version as well so check that so it's node yeah so it's 12.18.3 what i believe it's one version lower than this but you can always upgrade your node.js by installing the package okay the next thing that you need is the database so we will be using mongodb in this case uh, you can either use a cloud version of mongodb that's available but i would prefer you download this mongodb community server edition it's free of cost and you can install it on any platform that you uh, work on so it's be it windows be it linux it has got so many distributions available so for me it's windows i have downloaded it and already installed it so along with this you will get the mongodb compass this is the mongodb compass to see on the screen it helps you to browse your database connect to it and see the different collections documents that you have there and you can also edit them from here or delete them or whatever you want to do okay so it's pretty handy it's kind of like your php my admin that i used in my other uh, playlists for the uh, e-commerce app all right so this is a, a very handy tool and i'll use this quite frequently okay so make sure you install it if it doesn't get installed along with this package ideally it should but if you if it doesn't then you can download it from the web free of cost next thing that we will be needing is the postman uh client okay so you go here to postman.com go to the uh api client okay so what you can do you can go to here uh, i believe somebody type download postman client so it says download the app download it free of cost and it's yours forever okay next thing is which is uh the ide and this is one of the uh, most important things that you that you would need because a good ide helps you write good code okay so uh, it's it's up to you which id you want to choose uh for me it would it could be either visual studio code this is the one of the most popular ides in the market today but I will be using WebStorm. Okay, that's uh, this is a paid application. Uh, uh, Visual Studio Code is of course free, but I prefer using WebStorm for my web development uh, projects, whether be it with Angular or Node.js, because it has got very good intelligence and code refactoring capabilities. Okay, so with that being said. Uh, that's all about it and I'll show you how to install the other tools that uh, we will use so I will I'll show you when when they are being called so I'll, I'll show you how to install it using the command line okay and with that I'm going to finish this particular video so make sure you install all these tools and be ready for the next one wherein we'll create our first uh, our brand new project node project and we'll start writing our first app.js file okay so till then please subscribe and like this video i'll see you in the next part thanks bye bye